Mr. Musk, why? Why do you do this? It seems like we've been stuck in traffic for decades, I don't know, better part of a century. And there's a lot of skepticism that this can be done at all. Look, there were doubters about putting a man on the moon. On anything that's new, there will be doubters. Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel and the tech entrepreneur turned billionaire businessman Musk say it's time to give Chicago 21st century transportation. On Thursday, they visited the proposed downtown station, which happens to sit underneath the CBS News Chicago Bureau. In fact, if someone can even detect that we're digging the tunnel underneath them, uh, we want to buy the technology they invented. The sturdiness of the tunnels is a safety concern and the disposal of the tunnel dirt an environmental one. But if the concerns are answered, Musk says digging could start in three to four months. And the first passengers could be aboard in three years, 30 to 60 feet underground. Musk is hoping to dig a tunnel in California to showcase the technology and is working with officials in the Northeast Corridor on a similar idea, though red tape is slowing his progress. Musk certainly knows something about being in a hole. He just laid off 9% of his workforce at Tesla because of a financial reorganization. Two, one, lift off. Up. But his SpaceX rockets are now part of the nation's exploration efforts, and Musk remains bullish. I think this is something that's new and exciting. It's not just the same old thing. America's about trying bold new things and trying new technologies that, that are really going to inspire people for the future. It's predicted the system could carry 2,000 passengers in either direction every hour, with the so-called skates leaving at 30-second to two-minute intervals. The price? $20 to $25, or about half what a cab ride would cost. Shortly before we spoke to Musk on Thursday, he addressed the possibility of failure. If we fail, well, I guess me and others will lose a bunch of money. 